Hello. Thanks for watching this video. If you are a new visitor to my channel, note this video is part of a series of videos, and please see the earlier videos in this series. They build on the knowledge in the prior video and it is essential to understand the flow of thought to make complete sense of this video. This part of this series, starts with the moving averages, and then we shall see how to detrend the market. I shall explain the logic and importance of detrending the market, later in the video. Markets do not move in trends all the time. There are periods, when the markets are caught in a sideways mode, and periods, when the market moves in a sustained direction, either up or down. You will observe, that markets are mostly in a sideways mode, showing little directional movement. And only about 15 to 20 percent of the time, they appear to be in a directional movement. To make sense, and to even out the erratic movement of the markets, a value derived from the prices are used. This is called the moving average. In simple words, it is only an average of the prices. However, markets are continuous, and this value keeps changing constantly. Therefore, it is prudent to recalculate the average as more data is added constantly. This is also plotted on the charts, and as the value keeps changing, and the plotted data appears to move, it is called a moving average. Many kinds of moving averages, have been developed, and technicians use different moving averages. Once we understand the basic concept, then we can use our imagination, to not only create many kinds of moving averages, but also highly creative ways of understanding the market action. I am not going into the details of moving averages, and suggest, you check some of the fantastic videos available on the subject, on YouTube. Before you move ahead, you must know about these moving averages in depth, to truly understand market action. Simple moving average, exponential moving average, double exponential moving average, triple exponential moving average, linear weighted moving average, smooth and moving average etc. You will also need to know, the different input values, and how to offset moving averages. Welcome back. I hope, you enjoyed knowing more about the different moving averages. Let us now look at detrending the market. The first two questions that arise, what is detrending and why do we need to detrend the market? As said before, markets do not always move in a similar fashion, and in a chart, the only effort we do, is to understand the past values and compare it with the present values. Our effort is to understand, if prices are showing higher values than usual, or lower values than usual. But we do not have any particular value to compare it because the market's trend and the values keep changing all the time. The only price we can calculate, that moves along with the absolute price of a stock or commodity, is the moving average. At all periods, the moving average is never too far from the current market price. On average, we have 4 weeks in a month, and 5 trading sessions in a week, so a 20-day moving average represents the average price for a month, on any commodity or stock. Thus, when we plot a 20-day moving average, and compare current market price with it, we are actually comparing the price, to the average price of the month. If we then set the moving average to zero, and the movement of the price away from the moving average is plotted, it effectively removes the direction of the market, and shows us the deviation from the average price. This removal of the trend, is detrending the market action. We need to detrend the markets, to see where prices stand in relation to the average price, so that at all times, we have a constant value to compare it with. We can now effectively compare today's price, with a price even 10 years back, and still be able to say where we stand, in comparison to 10 or 20 or 30 years back. I am not going into the details of calculating the deviation, and how to plot the detrended market. Many software will plot it for you and you can see many splendid YouTube videos on the same. Here, we are interested only in understanding what is detrending, and why we need to detrend the markets. When we observe the deviation from the moving average, with a detrended market action, we can see that it does not swing erratically, and there is only a certain deviation from the moving average. Price swings around the moving average like a pendulum, and the swings are similar on both sides of the moving average. Prices are never perfect, 
and the swing from optimism to pessimism, and back to optimism, is what is reflected clearly with a detrended market action. In the next video, we shall dive deeper into the detrended price and see when the markets are overextended, on both sides of the moving average, and how to combine this with swing trading, to get precise entry and exit levels.